Hello everybody. To my delight, SAP again provides a Docker container to test and use the SAP system ABAP platform trial 1909. Today I will show you how we install and start this Docker container on a Windows system. About over a year ago, SAP stopped supporting and maintaining their Docker containers on Docker Hub. This upset the ABAP community a bit. So this is the blog post where the info developer edition no longer available. On SAP customer influence, an improvement request was created by a member and you had the option to upvote this request. I did so and to my surprise, there were a few emails at the end of July that the container is now available again. So if we click on the activity log, we see the the different status of this request. So acknowledged, under review, accepted and delivered in a couple of minutes. Here is the blog post about platform trial 1909 available now. And here you can read the highlights of this container for example, included Git and Cloud Connector login. So this container is a way level on the Docker Hub. Here you have to register because you're only allowed to download this container if you have an account on Docker Hub. I have already done this. And we have to check the requirements for installing this container on Windows. We need four CPUs, 16 gigabyte of RAM and 170 gigabyte disk space. But they recommend 32 gigabyte of RAM to run the ABAP platform trial image. So because we install Docker desktop on Windows, we have also to check some system requirements here. There are two options, WSL2 backend. This is the Windows subsystem for Linux. You can install this in the Microsoft Store. Or the second option, Hyper-V backend and Windows containers. This depends on your hardware and your software. In my case, my hardware is a way level. Um, I can activate the features. So I type in here features and I can activate the container and the Hyper-V on my system. After that, I click on OK and you have to restart the computer and after that we can install the Docker container for Windows. So we click on the button Docker Desktop for Windows. Double click on the downloaded file to install the, to install the Docker Desktop. Then check these two checkboxes. This takes some time. I have speed up this a little bit. Then we open the Docker desktop with administration rights. Then we accept the service agreement 
And now we sign in with our Docker Hub credentials. Then we proceed to the Docker desktop. Then we have to check some checkboxes. And now we see the Docker desktop application. Already empty because we don't have a container or image yet. Then we open a PowerShell terminal with administrator rights. Then we open the website Docker Hub. And we scroll down to the first command line, docker pull command, we copy this and we paste this command in the PowerShell window. Then press enter and now the image is downloaded. This takes some time because the image is 20 gigabyte and after the download it will be extracted. Okay, the download is finished now. And we see in the Docker desktop, if we click on the application and on the folder images, we see here the SAP SE ABA platform trial container. Size 53 GB. Next step is to start this container. So we scroll down to the command other and docker run. So we copy the second line here. And we have to use another parameter. So we scroll down a little bit and we have to add this parameter agree to SAP license. So I paste this uh, first command line here and we add this parameter agree to SAP license. Then we press enter. We click back to the Docker desktop and we see on the left side the HANA database is starting and we see this on the right side in the Docker desktop. The container status running and we see the consumption of CPU and RAM. Now the application service started and now we see this uh, info, have fun, that means everything is okay. We can use the SAP system now. We see the status running from the container. Now we check the task manager, we see the main memory consumption is really high, CPU is okay but the main memory consumption is really, really high. So my system has 32 gigabyte of main memory. Okay, so next we open the SAP GUI for Windows. I have already an entry here with the local host with the IP 127.0.0.1. If you haven't downloaded the SAP GUI yet, I provide you the link to the SAP GUI in the video description. So I do a double click here 
And now we see the SAP ABAP platform 1909 developer trial. We log in with the user developer and we find the password on the website on pubdocker.com. So let's copy the password and let's log into the SAP system. Okay. Now we can go to system and status and we see here the status of the system, the HANA database, the host and we can click on product version and we see here the component SAP basis release 754. Okay, so if we click here on the URL ABAP samples, if we accept this and we get an error here because the website is not reachable. For this we have to add another entry in the hosts file. We find this on the Windows system on C, Windows system 32 drivers and etc. We open this hosts file with a normal notepad with administrator rights. Then we go to the next, we scroll down to the next free space and we add this line 127.0.0.1 then the host name the host name again dot dummy dot no domain then we save this we close the windows and we click on the url above samples again we accept this and now we see the above examples so this works now. Next I want to show is how to stop the Docker container. For this we scroll down to the stop command and we open a new Windows PowerShell. And then we copy this stop command and we paste it here in the PowerShell and press enter. Okay, the flag is unknown, so we use only the flag minus T. And we press enter again. Okay, this works. We see the command stopping services termination of worker processes and we are already logged in in the SAP system so we get the message of the shutdown immediately yes here it is so the application server is shutting down next HANA database is terminating and Okay, the container is uh, running, but this takes some time to terminate the HANA database. And now, okay, some processes are stopped. Okay, now we see the message goodbye. So that means that the container is down. We see the status exit and there are no containers running anymore. Okay, the next thing is how to start the docker container again. For this we copy this command docker start minus i i a i a for H, press enter and now we see HANA database is starting again. The status of the container is running. Application server is starting. Some processes. 
we can open the SAP logon. Okay, we see the message have fun. So we can log into the SAP system again with the username developer and the password. And now we are already logged in and we can check some transactions. For example, the SE80. We see here the memory consumption is really high. So let's check another transaction SE16 and let's browse some records from the table S flight. We have data here and yes, we can use this new ABAP system to practice some ABAP or other things. If you like my videos, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Also write something in the comments. I always like to read them. Take care and see you on the next video.